610 KFRC, and it is KFRC Day here in Modesto. Good morning. And uh, John Van Camp and Chris Sharp. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so we're going to... I'm shaking, John. I'm on Dr. Oh, Don's microphone. You are on Dr. Don's this? microphone. Well, so this is a, uh, a van, a truck, a mobile studio eventually that has so much history to it in Bay Area radio. Actually, a radio in America. I mean, this is a, this is a national treasure. And it was... cutting-edge broadcast vehicle ever built, we like to say. This thing... You found it, yeah. resurrected it. Tell me the story of where you found it, what shape it was in. My wife and I went down to Santa Cruz with the boys to take them to, you know, Beach Boardwalk and all that. And we're yeah. leaving on uh, Sunday. I said, you know, Sturge is down here somewhere. Maybe we can get on the way out of town to see if we can find it. So we went over to the address where the Sturgeon, supposedly where the radio station was. Pop in there, like trying to look. I bet it's in a store somewhere. Nope, there it is. Parked in a parking lot. Just going under out. a palm tree, half yeah. half a mile from the ocean. Oh, no. Dirty sheets right. hanging in the windows, right. nothing on it. I mean, it was dying a so terrible death. So I'm like, a GM happened to be there. He comes out, he's like, he sees me poking around. Here. I go, can I see inside? Because I swear KFRC. Oh, yeah, I'll open up. Mold smell like you can't even believe. Damp red. Well, water corner. leaks. Yeah. yeah, and it was just I'm like, oh, he's like. I said, you're not interested in selling it, are you? No, 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 this is our baby. Jazz festival down in Monterey once, <laughs> once a Use it year. once a year. Yeah, and it had a uh, mixer board on a piece of plywood sitting on that back counter mounted with screws. And the other a main board for radio was just being destroyed. Yeah. Pens and dust and dirt. It was just used as a countertop. Anyway, long story time went by. I kept calling and, hey, you still interested? No, no, no. I got a new GM. Checked in with him. He says, yeah, well, maybe. Checked in one day at lunch at work. And he says, funny you should call. We just had a board of directors meeting. And I think we're ready to get rid of the surgeon. But you have someone to bid against. They just put a big offer in. They wanted to buy it for Burning Man for the chassis. Oh, no. To cut it up. No. And I said, well, that, um, that's not going to happen. I said, I will do whatever I can to bid up bid this person. Uh, let me know what I need to get to. It wasn't astronomical, but... It was money. No. Yeah. Did it run? Yeah. I said, that was the condition. I said, the condition is it's got to run. I have to get it back from Santa Cruz to Reno. He said, well, uh, we haven't run it in a while, but let me run it by the mechanic and see. It's not starting right now. I said, <laughs> okay. So... They brought it to the mechanic and got it running. Oh, how old? What year is it? 75. Oh, 75. But above and beyond the broadcast facility that it is, these are also very rare as far as GMCs. Right, yeah, yeah. The yeah. only motorhome built in a GMC truck plant. Right, right. And that kind of thing. It's fiberglass and aluminum, you know, below and, and up. So it's very cutting edge. The uh, suspension system is an airbag system that was never devised before. So all those kind of things above and just GMC fans are like, oh, it's a Sturge. It's like it's like the one in Stripes that Bill Murray's in, you know? The, yeah, right. It's like this and oh, that one are like, you know, wow. the Mecca. So anyway, I did uh, one of buying it. Flew down during a snowstorm, 5 o'clock in the morning, flying out of Reno in a prop plane to fly to San Jose to pick it up. And I was freaking out, and land is raining, and Uber down to Santa Cruz, and then hadn't driven it or anything. I'm like, it's running? Yeah, it runs. Give them the check, and you know, pleasantries, and sign this and sign that. They have pink slip board and everything? Oh, yeah. Yep. And a lot of the original documentation. So as I'm driving out, it's pouring rain, windy through 17, coming you know, back over to Los Gatos. You know, Sturgeon's doing this. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, you know, I could barely do 40 miles an hour. I'm like, it's a great story. Drove right? it all the way back. Wow. Got it all the way up through the mountains. Um, and uh, I have a picture of the first day once I got it. And I stopped in Auburn to get a sandwich. And then just I was pinching myself, going, oh, I really got it. In the sea today, at JFRC, loving it from Modesto. We're in this hot outside. It's hot in the studio. The songs are hot. We're melting stacks of wax in a digital era. And we're just so glad that you're with us today on BossBossRadio.com and that 70s channel 
Facebook.com. That's the place where we are reunited today. I, you know, the thing is, it's like they say being on here is like riding a bike, right? Once you've ridden the bike, I guess you can just jump back on. So here we are reunited again. Peaches in this. Oh, no. So how does it feel to be in the Sturgeon? It feels so good. To be Doesn't back. it? Yeah. No, it's a, it's, I don't know. Ryan Sharp has done such a great job of making sure this studio is home. We get the privilege to be able to come back through time to a place that is timeless. Right. And to do this on the radio again after 30 plus years. Yeah, it's great. I'll take it now. There's so many people here. 610's John Evans from the 610 Newsroom is here. We're going to talk to John coming up in a little bit. And so much more. You stick around. We're going to be right here from Modesto, California. 610 KFRC broadcasting live from the American Graffiti Classic Car Show right here in Modesto. I'm Brian Schaefer aboard the marvelous 610 Sturgeon. And it couldn't stop, you know, short, short sentences, really tight sound bites, you know. People didn't know what it was. Something about it. You're telling us some of the magic behind it. Yeah, it was magic because we uh, we did it better than KGO and KCBS. Yeah. Well, yes. certainly. We were better storytellers. And, uh, I'm really proud of you. Well, you, 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 you the, the awards and what you did started a wonderful tradition. And speaking of which, we were talking about in the tradition of great radio people, we've lost a few ones. Uh, well, Dr. Don being the ringer, right. losing Don uh, 15 years ago. So Rick Shaw is gone now. Uh, our mutual friend, Eric Nelson. Eric Nelson, who uh, said KFR. Susie! Yeah, uh, and, and <laughs> others, I'm sorry if we forgot a few of them. We just talked about Terry Nelson a little bit, but yeah, there's been a lot of people who have come and gone. Well, Harry, Harry was kind of like you. He came and went, came and went. Yeah. I mean, you like, couldn't wow. stay away. You came from KHJ, and then you came up a year, and then you went back, and then you came back. I mean, you, yeah, I mean, you were schizophrenic about it. Oh, well, I mean, let's be honest. Like, Long haired leaping nose. And you, you, doing the leaping at that time. And you knew where to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was all about the fun. I always came back to the good old 610 camp when I see it now. You and I are on 610 day. They actually proclaimed this to be 610 day. In and, when, and when's the last time you were in the mobile studio? It's been forever. Was I going to go through the years again? Oh, I'm sorry. I know that bothers you a lot. Because it feels like I just was here 15 minutes ago. I'm just oh, thank you for all oh, the me. And as you said, it's, you know, it doesn't pass to infinity. And we're all having just fun. And kind of reliving some old days. Well, after you and I are in Sturgeon, but we're really at the same time in other people's imaginations. In fact, I'm speaking to you. And you and I are Nice to meet Uh, quite a pleasure. 
Can you share with me one of the all-time award-winning news and information? I was there. I was there for a heartbeat. I think between '75 and '80, uh, no, '78 and maybe '84. Uh, you, you were in and out a few times. And, uh, yeah, I remember that guy too. Just went out and came back. Yeah, yeah. Well, I worked with Don uh, Rose and some of the greats, uh, uh, Tom Marker and Bob Anthony and Rick Shaw and uh, uh, of course Flanagan, John Mac Flanagan, Robin Bailey. And, uh, all those guys, you know, I learned a lot from, and uh, I spent uh, I spent some time in those studios with my ears open and my eyes open, and, and I've always, uh, whatever success I've had in my life, uh, uh, have attributed it to those great, interesting, creative broadcasters who I picked up little things from and ripped them off. Everybody yeah. appreciated everybody, even the fans appreciated care for C2. It was a big mutual admiration. Quick shout out to the Hester Area Hot Rod Association. That's my name across the street. There you go. There are so many car clubs. Come and, come and be known. Come and let us know who you are. Shout out to you. Awesome. Now, you car guy, Bob? I'm the best car that there is. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be a motorcycle, now they're cars. Yeah. I that the old days. No, the station was the most creative place I ever worked. Bar none, and I worked, you know, CBS television for years. John got me some gigs at K101 and KML, I remember. I appreciate it. You know, I don't remember that. I appreciate that. We were both 14 years old, that's why. Uh, but, uh, no, this was the place where I learned creativity. And, you know, it's just something I don't take lightly because uh, there, were, there were just really interesting people there that had great ideas. People like Chris Garland and Tyson uh, uh, that would think outside the box every day. That's really a thing. That and the music, you know, I mean, the music carried it, but really it was the creativity that made this station a success. And we'll always put it at the top of any rock and roll station. I, I, would, I would put it up in its heyday. Well, that's what puts us here with the creative people at the Classic Car Museum on the Classic Car Weekends. Yeah. On a day that the mayor has proclaimed a six, ten day. Awesome. We're live now from the Sturgeon and on that seven is and Boss Week is I know. every year for what 10 years oh, yeah. or something we're always the soundtrack and our stations are the official stations of american graffiti so uh we're always broadcasting live uh, as we will be this weekend as well and we also give a plug to those radio stations here in modesto those are 920 a.m is by 92.3 and 107.1 of the fm for the and then the river ARVR 105.5 so we were the creek and walnut creek but you you the river flowed out to the river that's right it was a little bigger here yeah, so yeah than all the creek. creek so we, we went with the river and it always has 27 years it's been a the ocean, ocean approved yes that's right <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> someday you'll make the ocean yeah river the ocean it was such an honor to have you in the Sturgeon. Oh, well, and Boss Boss Radio, one of the big bosses of all time is here. Mr. Bob Ray, good to see you. Well, thank you, Brian. I'm here. I've got to say, this is a great experience. Yeah, all your years on radio, all your years in the, in the broadcast business. Is this your first time in the Sturgeon, the mobile studio? No, actually, uh, I think in September 2019 when I was inducted into the uh, Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame, uh, the Sturgeon was there. Oh, that's right. That's oh, 
What's happening when the music is playing? Well, now you know. <laughs> I knew. I knew before now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live from the Mobile Surgeon, 16 KMRC. such a great time. This is 610 KFRC. We are broadcasting live from the Graffiti USA Classic Car Museum in Modesto. And some folks here I just haven't seen them in many, many years. And for example, well, Shotgun is on television because we were here for a long time. But there are folks here. Rex McNeil is here, ladies and gentlemen. And Derek Waring, very well known in Modesto. So we're having a wonderful time, and another fella who has been in radio for a long time, Charlie Simons is with me. Charlie is based out of Sacramento. I am. And we're in Fresno, San Jose, San Francisco, Nashville, Tennessee. So if you get a chance, make sure you come in and see some of these classic parks as well. We have a best of you coming in town by Sandy and Revenue Way. Oh, nice. 57 Chevy, man. It was turquoise. Beautiful. <laughs> and there are some fabulous cars that you guys see here. So it's 610 KFRC broadcasting from the 610 Sturgeon. Come on out and see us. I had skiing together at one point. Yeah. And uh, what, hung out there at Pool 101, obviously. And, uh, it's one of the great people. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the last real radio station I felt like I worked at. Yeah, that was quite a lineup. Oh, it was everybody yeah. was like San Francisco, uh, Very LA. supportive of each other. Yeah, it was, you know, it was kind of like, who's up next at back, you know? And okay, you know, uh, Bob Malik's up next. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'd like to hear that when you cracked the mic for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But you're not getting paid for Oh my god. 35. 610. KFR 
RC with REO Speedwagon. I'm Bob Malik, and we are at the party. There are so many amazingly talented people who have been in this business and uh, the cross paths we've worked together. Sure. And one of the greatest talents is Rex McNeil. Well, Rex. well, Bob, I appreciate that coming from you. We worked together at Cool 101, which was kind of modeled after this very radio station. 610 came first. Here. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun there at that radio station. It was an old station, classic hits. And, uh, you know, it was just great working with great talent like yourself. Later, you went to King Earth 101. And, uh, of course, you uh, had a beautiful syndicated radio show. And it sounds like you had a lot of fun. Oh, it was great. It was really great. And the whole, like, her burger has just been one dream after another. <laughs> and it was it started about 50 years ago. Wow. Yeah, half a century. And, you know, when we were in 101, we were supposed to play for a San Francisco. Right. It was a KFRC forum. Right. He was uh, there at one doing morning. Right, right. Like right. Jim Rapone's Right, and I was the producer of that show, and so I helped those guys out, and it was great working with Sam because he's such a professional. And, uh, you know, Sam is, is Mr. Everything Organized and Everything is Smooth. Unlike, unlike me, uh, where everything <laughs> no, is not so smooth. It's not true. And um, we haven't seen each other in many years. Right. But everybody else is here. Now we have legends on oh, this station today. 610, KFRC. And for example, of course, Bobby Ocean. Right. Bobby Ocean. <laughs> and so a little later, we're going to have Shotgun Tom Kelly. Yeah, I just had the chance to talk to him. And, and here's a guy that I've heard on the radio for a long time. I've never met him before today. You step up and talk to these guys, and it's it, you, you're so used to hearing their voice on the radio. There's just kind of this natural affinity, and the shotgun couldn't have been nicer. That's true. You know, we are radio brothers here, and one of the brothers that is coming on a little later on is from the as I am. Right. And it's uh, Mike Novak. Talk yeah. about a talent. Right. Mike is a giant in the business. Yeah, he was on KFRC. I think he was on KHJ, right? Yes. And uh, so he was on all these great radio stations and sounded just as great on one of those as he did on any other. Just Mr. Smooth, Mr. Professional, yeah. Mr. Uh, just keep the music moving. Yeah, absolutely. He's worked at Mike. He's going to be on the air here a little bit. Great. So thank you for joining us, folks, as I knock the microphone down. <laughs> It's 610 day, June 10th, broadcasting live from the 610 Sturge and we're parked inside the Graffiti USA Classic Car Museum. Folks, come on in. Gene Winfield is like a famous guy here in Modesto. He is Mr. Classic Car and did cars for 200 movies. Oh, no, 200 cars for Mad Bob Mad Dog Mallet is the best. Well, you're one of the best. One of them. Yeah. <laughs> Next to you. Know, we say that because uh, you, to... you knew what I was going there, right? Of course. Ah. You, you've heard of Chuck Brown. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, Chucker. the Chucker, yeah. Chucker, we, the three of us, used to hang out. Oh, wow. And there are stores. All right, baby, this is me, Shotgun Tom, right here from the American Graffiti USA Classic uh, Museum in Modesto, man. I've been talking about this on my uh, radio show, Sirius XM on Channel 73. Ooh la wee, here we are, you and me, baby. Hey. I used to do a show when I was at KFRC in this particular facility from Union Square. You can see it on YouTube.